Good morning guys, Lillian with Lily Ray's collection. I am back today with a um, project. I crocheted this hat um, because Bethany Frankel was looking for the double pom poms that remove, that you're able to remove the pom poms from the hat because her daughter Bryn wanted a hat so I created this but I left her a note and she didn't respond so um, some of you wanted to see how I made this and so that's what I'm gonna do today and here is the button to hold it on that corner so you could wear the hat with or without the pom-poms so I made this with a number six hook, which I have here. And then I also have a chart here that um, you can get on um, Google. I just did um, a chart for creating a uh, crocheting a beanie. And this one says behookedcrochet.com. So if you want to go onto her website, you can do that as well. These stitches these stitch counts are for a number five hook which I originally did um, I recorded it but I only did half the hat as an example but unfortunately most of the time that I was recording I was off camera so boohoo I have to redo it <laughs> so I'm gonna try and stay in camera I'm going to do it with a six, number six hook, and I'm going to do the adult small, which is 21 to 22 inches. Uh, circumference is 21 inches, which is around the head, the circumference. The hat length is eight inches, so from top to bottom, eight inches. And then um, the crown diameter is... Um, 6.75 so that means that it has to measure like that this is the diameter from here to here 6.75 okay so um and this again is for a, a, a crown that is going to be round ours is not ours is just going to be flat on both sides so this crown diameter doesn't apply all right so let's go ahead I'm gonna put this one aside and I'm gonna be using basic yarn from mainstays and this calls for a 5.5 hook and if you do your what they call a um, oh god I'm not gonna remember what it's called now a swatch it would be 17 stitches so 4 by 4 17 across and 23 down alright so that's what your swatch should measure 17 stitches across so that's what I'm going to use and again I'm just doing a sample I'm not going to do the whole hat okay excuse my sniffles I'm going to turn this around we're going to do 21 stitches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this on real time um, I'm going to try not to stop the video and stay in camera so this is how I usually start mine I put the needle in behind around and then around again and pull it through that's my one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, and make sure that you do it loosely. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
So again, this is just a sample. So I'm going to probably do a small hat like this. That's 20. So I'm going to take and I'm going to stop right there. Now I'm going to go down two. So this one's one and two. And I'm going to start on the third one. So um, your hook goes around the yarn. And it's going to go, I'm going to do mine. See the, the little humps on the back? Do I have enough light here? Let me see if I could bring this down a little more. See these bumps in the back of the uh, right there those are the bumps I'm gonna be working in because it's going to be um, it's gonna give you a, a more finished edge so this is 30 let me go to 40 30 30 maybe 35 30 31 32 33 34 35 so I'm gonna count back one two and three and I'm gonna wrap my hook around the yarn And if you go like this, put it in front there, and then again in that one, you're in the hump in the back. And that's going to be a half double crochet. Again, wrap hook around the yarn. See that hump there? And that's a half double crochet. all the way across you could also use the point of the hook to get in there it's the hardest but it'll get easier Sorry about the noise outside. Someone has a uh, rug service cleaning their rugs today. Once you get a few of them, it, the bump starts to lift on its own from the yarn pulling. I hope you can hear me clearly.
So there you have your um, your strip, and that's going to be doubled over, right? And that was half double crochet. Now um, let's turn it this way. This yarn here should be down on the bottom right and that's the bottom of your hat <coughs> and then I'm going to take and bring this all the way around this way and put it up here this is the the um, chain one two and three this is where you start it and then I'll wrap the yarn around go through and go through and then here, I'm going to crochet one. And then we're going to start with a front post double crochet. So that, that means, so you have that like that, right? That means you're going to wrap the yarn over. this stitch right here, whoop, this stitch right here, this is the first, this is your first stitch that you're going to do a front post double crochet. So you're going to go behind it, pull the yarn through, bring it up, one and two. That's the first one. Your second stitch is going to be behind. So you're going to go now in through the through that uh, side of that stitch in front and then to the back and that's a back post double crochet. And then so it's now two front two back post double crochet, two front post double crochet. So the single one is here, two back posts, two front posts, two back post, front post, back post, front post. And now you're going to do two back posts.
This here is what I usually, this tail, I usually take it and because this is the beginning of the stitch, I take it and I bring it through. And then I bring it back this way. take it and just weave it through with my needle so that the bottom is together so now we have two back posts right back uh, front post sorry and so now here this is going to be your last um, stitch which is a back post that's wrong you do one back post and then you connect it right here in this opening and then that's where you're gonna close it see that so you have two here one back post one front post and then two 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 so you know where your back is so now I'm gonna crochet one up two up and then yarn over that's your front post and you're gonna follow this pattern for at least three to four rows it depends how big you want your ring so I'm going to go ahead and do about three rounds of this and then I will be back so just follow that same pattern if it's in the back you do a back post if it's in the front you do the front post all the way around three times or however big you want your rim or you could do the whole hat this way it's up to you see that so go ahead and do that and I'll be right back all right, so I am back with my little sample here. This is the rim. I did um, three rounds, and that's the way your hat is going. The rim of your hat is going to look, and this is the back. Okay, so now we can continue with the same. Um, stitches except it's going to be in the reverse so the front the back post are going to be front post and the front post are going to be back post but in the back post we're going to crisscross them over so this one here is where you start right so you do you crochet two stitches yarn over underneath that front post and that's one that stitch will not change okay um, and then here you have one two back stitches you're gonna do yarn over underneath the back post to bring it forward yarn over and then you're going to 
pull that underneath and then cross over just like that oh, see that it's an X here and here so now yarn over front post now become back post front post is now a back post and then the crisscross again so yarn over you go to the second one two back post and you bring them forward yarn over underneath that above and then that's that's an X see that so again the front post become back post that becomes a front post and then you're going to cross over yarn over underneath yarn over oh, this one was supposed to be over to the other side Wait. yarn over oh that was correct didn't look correct Okay, now yarn over. So there's the X. So now these front posts become back posts. Yarn over. That's the first, second. a back post back post yarn over front post you're gonna crisscross yarn over yarn over back post yarn over back post Yarn over front post, crisscrossing. Yarn over, yarn over back post. Over back post. Yarn over front post, making the crisscross. Yarn over. Yarn over back post. <coughs> Excuse me. And now these two are back posts, so we're going to do the X here. Okay. And then this is front post, you're going to make it a back post. Back post. And then here. You only have one back post there. So this is going to stay back post. When you get to the end, you'll have one back post, one front post. So this is back post. You're not going to crisscross that. And then we're going to take one, two. And right in here, you're going to close that. Crochet two, yarn over, and front post. And 
and that's how that's what it's going to look like. You see that? So you have front post here, and this is an X. I mean, this is a back post. This is back post, and this is the X. You'll be able to see it once you continue um, with your stitches. So let's do one more row. Yarn over. You're going to take this first one to bring it up. See, did I do that right? And then this one. That doesn't cross over. Let's do that again. You on over. Let's do the one that's on top. And then the one underneath, yarn over. You're gonna grab that and bring it up, and that should make your X. Yeah. See? And then this, this stays back post, back post. And then now your X again. The one that's in front, you go ahead and Make that a front post, bring this bottom one, bring it up, front post, and make your X there. This is back, back post, this is the crisscross, you take the first one on top, front post, and then bring that back one forward. Post, back post. See that? I hope you could see that. You have one X here, here, and here. Maybe you could see it there better, like that. This is your rim, and then this is the hat, the actual hat. So I'm gonna continue this pattern for another four rows and then I'm gonna come back so that we can stitch it and you can see how that, uh, how I close the hat. So again, let's go ahead. This is the top of the X double crochet, front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, front post, X, double crochet, front post, X, double crochet. Post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, front post, double crochet, and then bring the one that's in the back up, double crochet, back post, double crochet, back post, double crochet. Front post, double crochet. Front post, double crochet. Back post, double crochet. Back post, double crochet. And just keep doing that all the way around until you get the measurement of the hat that you want.
And for this one, adult small, it's uh, the hat length is eight inches. So just take your measuring tape and measure it from the rim to the top of the hat. And that's where you would get the eight inches. And I will link this chart below, or you can get it on google.com. All right, so back post, double crochet, back post, double crochet. It's a crisscross, back post, crisscross, back post. So this one is a Yeah, I'm gonna keep it as back post. Because that's where you're going to be finishing the hat. And then you go here into this opening here and just pull it over. Crochet two and you start again. And that is what your hat is supposed to look like. So I'm going to do two more rows and then come back and show you how I close it. Alright, so I've completed my rows from the rim. This is the brim of your hat right here. And this is the hat. So now, um, this is your tail, so that's the back of the hat. We're going to take, loop it through and just make sure that we Put a little knot there and then we're going to take this um, this needle here it has a big hole it's a blunt needle it's called a tapestry needle the skinny side of it goes like that and then it's thin enough to fit through the needle all right, so now we're going to take this is the side of the hat. We're going to fold it in half, just like that. And then we're going to take, and I'm going to take the inside of the stitch. So see the inside of each of the stitches, like that? And just do a running stitch across. Just like that. Hold on, baby. Yeah, my cat is... Um, tickling my feet because she wants something. Actually, I decided that I'm going to make this hat for her. Her name is Coco, and she's very gray, dark gray. So this hat is going to go with her coat. She's going to have pom-poms on it too. Oh, you know what I did? I should have turned it over. <laughs> but I didn't. It's fine. Just turn your hat inside out. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Jeez. Oh,
I mean, you can't tell, but I would turn it inside out. So I'm going to bring it inside. If this were the, the wrong side of the hat, you would bring that thread down inside and just zigzag it. frontwards and backwards so that your yarn doesn't come out. You could even bring it down lower. Just so long as it doesn't come out when you throw it in the wash. string you sew it you know you will do the same thing take it and sew it in now this is the small I have uh, the small medium and large pom-pom makers this is the large medium and this is the small so I'm going to make one pom-pom on the screen and then I have to find a small button. So here's what I do. I take this here, I wrap it around here just to hold the yarn, and then I start winding just like this. And you have to do both sides. that's one side then you close it down like that and you bring this around I do the same just so that it pulls it and it holds it there and then you could start winding this one in the center. Remember, I don't have a lot of yarn there, so turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. And then you take this one and you put it through there. And then just tie it. I take and do the uh, the surgeon's knot. So one over, two over, and then you're gonna tie it as let's see here. Make sure you don't 
nothing's obstructing that. See how this wasn't pulling? That was because we had the other. I didn't cut those two strings. So now you can just go ahead and tie that again. One and two. And then tie it again. This one was from it being wrapped around on this. So this you could just cut and make it a part of the pom-pom. So now that's tied, right? You just hit it on your hand a little bit just to fluff it out. And it looks pretty even. So those stragglers that you see that are not even, you just cut like that. I'm going to use a, um, a black button. Because it's such a small hat. But I want it to be a flat button like that. Anyway, I'm only going to do the one on camera, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay. These are plastic needles that make the job easier and faster. So I'm going to take the button, put it through that button, put one of the strings inside that open area there like that, like that. I hope you could see that and then just pull it through and do the same thing with this one. gonna tie that loosely not not too tight because you want the pom-pom to have some give so that it doesn't break off or rather you know some movement see that like that and then do your surgeons not there Do it twice. Which 
just like that. And then you can go ahead and cut that as close as you want. It will not come out. Okay, so let's do it on this side. So you find a hole right on the corner, like that. Take the pom-pom and just put it through. Like that. Look how cute that is. And if you see strands that are just a little too long, just cut them off. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna do another one here. And this is gonna be my Coco's hat. Let's see how quickly I could do this. Let's put this back together. they finish up with that rug because that machine is messing with my headaches. cut it in the, don't forget to cut this because I forgot the first time. So now we're going to do the same thing to this one. Put the string through the plastic needle. Excuse my sniffles. Put it 
do the button, pull it through. Okay, there is your hat with the double pom-poms. Alright guys, well I hope this helped, I'm sorry it took so long, it does take time. Um, I love the way it came out. Post your hats on my Facebook page so that I could see how yours turned out. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, and or leave any comments down below. I'll see you soon. Take care.